Hey, very routine, man. Very routine. Definitely got a little bit of moat territory going on in there. It's almost like underlaying moat territory on top of the the roasted coffee and the, you know they really got bitter chocolate, like the highest chocolate quality you can find. It's so bitter, like raw coca or something like that. And that nine percent, woo you can really feel it right there actually so I mean If they did the last year for the Tempest, they will definitely have gone out on a band. And I'm really hoping this is not the last year for Tempest. I don't know. I just keep, I just, are we on Instagram, I see on Twitter, I just see like, little you know, story about this, 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 that. But then the fact that they're not even down in there, Nintendo, not even at the brewery apparently, I don't know. Can someone confirm that for me? Because if the down in there, Nintendo at the brewery, please let me know because I'll like, I'll go down there and buy some Nintendo because. Anyway, I put a price, again, seven ninety five to get three other beers that is really, again, I like the Bone Taker and Space Invader. I had Space Invader before and it's actually a really good idea actually. And the dark culture, well, you know, just another crispy boy in the, you know, in the long line up of all the other crispy boys that we have now and in good old Ontario craft beer team. So, I'm back for the beer. Beautiful whip, creamy, and it got that billiard. It got all the making of a thickening and pearl stove that you just got to knock you on your head. If you have too many of these, of course. Anyway, I don't want to take up any more time. So if you get the pass, get the pass. It's a good price. Plus you get four beer out of it. So you can't really go wrong with it. When you come, when you're faster than the price that you can buy one of these at the LTBO. It's almost, you get them there for like $2. So, it's good. So, if you're a fan of the other three beer and you want to call the show, then go for it. Well worth it. And this is amazing. And of course, I can't wait for a Gobble Tempest day. I actually have a 2015 Gobble Tempest bottle in the cellar right now, actually. I'm just hoping that pretty soon. So with that, I bid you farewell. Cheers.